Okay, now we're going to move on to the uh, back controls. And these are basically your speaker jacks and some of the input wires and your power supply. And make sure again you've got these turned where you want them. And we're going to refer to a plan and your schematic. And we're just going to wire those just like we did up front. And again, uh, we're going to take our bus wire to connect all the grounds together. And uh, the last one here are the reverb and the uh, vibrato pedal uh, jacks. And we'll start there with our, basically you're taking your last ground farthest one away and connecting them all in order. You can see here where the wire goes through and then be sure and highlight each connection that you make. This is a very important step. This will ensure with all the connections that you have in an amp like this that you're not missing anything. I mean, You don't want to blow up a $200 transformer because you missed a wire connection somewhere. These are the wires from the reverb transformer that are going to the reverb uh, jack. And they're kind of going to be back away, sort of underneath the circuit board. So I'm going to get those soldered in place so they'll be out of the way. And again, take that highlighter and highlight these on your plans. And then uh, go all down the line just like we did up front. And now here we have the uh, output wires from the output transformer. These go to the speaker jacks. And you're going to notice here there's three of them. Each one has a different ohm value. Uh, on this particular model, you have an option. You can do 2 ohms, 4 ohms, 8 ohms. And you need to know how your wiring is going to be on your speakers. Here's an example of parallel wiring. Where you have a load and you take the speaker ohms of your, the setup you're going to have divided by the number of speakers. And that will tell you which wire to use. So in the setup I have, I'm not going to be using the white and yellow wires. So I'm actually just going to tie those off and cap them. Just keep them in there, you know, someday you may want to change configurations uh, and use them. So leave yourself enough to connect to, uh, but for now just cap them off and get them out of the way. And I'm just going to cap them with a little wire nut here. And then we're going to move on to our uh, power supply. Now the ground wire coming from our gr uh, power supply, I'm going to ground straight to one of the bolts on the transformer, the power transformer. And I'm going to use a little eyelet here so that I know that I'm getting a good connection. And I'm just going to crimp that onto a wire and solder it in place. And then once it's in, I'm going to bolt it down to that, uh, that transformer mount, measure it out. Kind of push it over in the corner so it's out of the way, especially out of the way of the wiring for that uh, rectifier tube socket. And then we'll connect it to our uh, input. 